Hi, I'm Larry Richardson, your step-by-step -step chef. In this episode, we're going to make a very delicious and easy treat. It is pan-roasted poblano peppers with cheese. It's that simple, but when you taste those poblanos with that roasty taste, I think it's really going to win you over. So come on, let's cook. And here are the ingredients. We have three poblano peppers. We're going to use um, about a teaspoon of salt. We're going to use four tablespoons of vegetable oil and we have a cup of cheese. And you should figure out that each of those poblanos is for one person. And um, you know, when you see them when they roast down, they're just going to look absolutely beautiful. So let me show you how to put this together. So the first thing I want you to do is rinse off the poblano peppers. You know, we always rinse off our veggies and then wipe off the water because we, we're dealing with oil and the water will um, lead to excess splattering. So just wipe them down, get the water off of there, get them nice and dry, especially on the um, surfaces. Get them nice and dry. There we go. And here's our last one. And I have um, a frying pan preheating over medium heat right now. And you're going to need a cover for that pan too. So there we go. Those are nice and dry. And then all we're going to do, and you can do this with your bare hand if you want. I'm just dealing with a lot of expensive um, camera equipment, so I don't, I don't want that on my hands, uh, the oil on my hands. But just put some oil on the peppers and just work it in. Get it nice and worked in. Make sure the peppers are completely covered because we're not gonna, we're not really pan frying these. We're um, gonna roast them. So I just want this covered with oil. Do not fill the pan up with oil to do this and try to fry them because you might have um, a little bit of a, a blowback if you try to do that. So there, there we go. And I would like to point out that was, a, I don't know why I said um, four tablespoons of oil. That was just one tablespoon of oil that did this just fine. They're coated. They're, they're perfectly coated. And now I'm going to meet you over at the stove. So here's our frying pan that has been preheated over medium heat. And we're just going to put our peppers in it. And three is about right. As you can see, these are pretty big peppers. And then what we do is we just put some salt on it. Give it our teaspoon of salt. Don't overdo it. Just, just enough to flavor it. And you can hear it starting to make that kind of splattery noise. That's because there is moisture in the skin of these peppers. And we are going to blacken these peppers a little bit and get them nice and roasty. And what will help us to do this is this cover. It will hold in the heat so that the um, pepper itself cooks. And then the skin on the outside of the pepper will start to blacken some. And this process of roasting these can take about 15 to 20 minutes depending on your stove and, and the cookware you're using. It's also going to produce some smoke. The oil and the pepper, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to um, burn a little bit. And um, what I want you to do is put your fan on. Make sure you use your, your, um, your fan to vent out the smoke because when you take this cover off to turn these, which we'll do about every uh, four to five minutes, every four to five minutes, not 45 minutes, um, we'll turn them. And um, every time you take the cover off, some smoke's going to come out. So you want to make sure that your hood fan is on. So I'll see you in about five minutes and we'll do that first turn. Okay, now here we are after the first five minutes. Here's our puff of smoke. Fan on. Turn it. You can see it's blackening nicely. So there we go. That's what we want. And then let's just cover it up again. So you could see it was blackened nicely, in case you couldn't hear me. And um, it's roasting nicely. And we're just going to do this again for another five minutes. Now, if you see too much smoke, you can turn the heat down a little bit. We are just at about medium heat with this pan, but this pan conducts um, heat very well. It has a heavy metal bottom to it. So um, 
if you're starting to see way too much smoke in, and you're getting overcome by it, turn the heat down. Otherwise, I'm going to see you in about five minutes. And here we are five minutes later. They're getting nice and roasty. So let's just turn them over. I'm just going to roast them all right. Just five more minutes. This one is actually salt too solid on this side. These are cooking great. This one had that indent. So I'm actually going to turn this back. And that's why some of them might take 15 minutes and some of them might take 20. It depends on how they're, how they're formed. These really flat ones, and when you shop for them, try to get these really flat ones because they just seem to cook better. So I'm going to see you in five more minutes and that should do it. Okay, so here we are five minutes later. They're looking good and roasty to me. Let's just give them a little turn. Oh yeah, that's perfect. You can see that the flesh is very soft, which makes it really easy to eat. Ooh, look how much that roasted. This is really good on the grill too, and I'm gonna show you how to make that one day. And all we do is we just take our cheese, spread it on the top. Oh, I love it when it's roasty like that. Just put your cheese right on top. And then we're just going to cover it. Cover it until the cheese melts. Which, this pan is so hot, it's going to happen fast. It'll take about 30 seconds to a minute. Cheese will look nice and melty. And then we're going to take it off the stove. And one minute later, that's ready to eat. So congratulations, look at what you just did. You just pan roasted this poblano and you put some cheese on it. It's so delicious. People are gonna think you did a lot more to this poblano. A little salt, a little cheese, you got yourself a delicious treat. Now, one thing I wanna warn you about is poblanos can vary in heat. So as you eat from the pointed end up toward the stem, it could get hotter and hotter. The other thing is, up at this end toward the stem, there are seeds. You don't want to eat the seeds, so just eat around them when you eat this. This is one reason why you should always watch to the end, watch the end, the closing of the Step-by-Step -step Chef, because I can give you these tips so you don't accidentally um, absolutely um, make your face burst on fire eating your way through this. So just go, go gradually, go gently, and you'll absolutely have a delicious treat. I guarantee you, people are going to love this, and it's so easy. Make it sound like it was really hard to make, but it's so easy. The other thing I want you to do, if you like this recipe, go to my website, stepbystepchef.com. There you will find the recipe for this in printable form, along with printable recipes and free video links for over 150 recipes. 150 step-by-step -step recipes, and I cook right by your side through every single one of them. <laughs> what a gift. I think you're going to enjoy them. Uh, they're, they're just great recipes. This is food I actually eat. I don't like to show you how I make these dishes and then um, chuck it aside, you know, or, or, you know, I eat this. My family eats this. The other thing you're going to find on stepbystepchef.com is the cookbook. And the cookbook, I update it every November. I'm just going to keep adding recipes. At some point, this is going to be thicker than all 50 books in the Encyclopedia Britannica back when they used to have books. Now it's all online, so don't worry about that. But anyways, I'm going to keep updating it. So I hope you will check out the website. You will find a link to this. You're going to find free printable recipes and free video links. And let's just keep cooking together. It's so much fun. I really enjoy it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.